Hello and welcome to Newsday with Jeff A. Hearn. I'm your host, Jeff A. Hearn. Today's top story. The World Health Organization announced Tuesday that it will rename the monkeypox virus, saying that the name could be stigmatizing. I would think that the sores associated with it would be way more stigmatizing than its actual name. Any chance you could take time out of your busy renaming schedule to find a cure for those? I wonder what the new name's going to be. My suggestion would be simian sores or maybe ape acne. Perhaps baboon boils or lemur lesions. Or do we have to leave the monkey verse entirely? That's liberals for you. Ask them to fix something and the best they can do is rename it. This is the same crowd who renamed streets to stop crime and schools to improve test scores and nothing but success stories there. The hotspots listed for monkeypox by the WHO include West Africa and the Congo Basin. The woke WHO scientists say using this nomenclature is counter to the best practice of avoiding geographic locations. Good call. Could lead to people being more careful in those areas to not spread it further. Much better to conceal its true severity and allow it to spread unabated. You know, like you did with COVID in China. Rename your way out of that one, WHO. Man, there is no one stingier with important information than a woke liberal. Reminds me of the last time I tried to read the LA Times. A killer was at large, and to be woke, the paper would not include his race in his description, narrowing it down to every adult male in the city. It wasn't so much an APB as it was an NPB, no points bulletin, or how the WHO now fights infectious viruses.